bless you. Uh, before I finish for the night, I'm going to give you a success tip. And my success tip tonight actually comes from uh, Mr. Hardy. He's the editor of Entrepreneur Magazine. Uh, and he wrote, if you want to stay away from average and mediocrity, you have to take a risk. You know, uh, what's, so this whole taking risk thing is what's keeping risk taking will deliver you from out of average. It'll take you away from mediocrity. You, sometimes you have to go way out on the limb because way out on the limb is where the fruit are. Maybe you've been waiting for your ship to come in when God has already told you to swim out to your ship. Uh, you know, if you really want success in life, you're going to have to take a risk. Uh, you, you're going to have to take a chance, make a chance, and be given a chance. You're going to have to get out of your comfort zone. You're going to have to get out of this hammock stage of your life. You, you know, there are those who make things happen those who watch things happen, and then there are those who just wonder what happened. You're going to have to be part of that person who makes things happen. If you want to get away from average and mediocrity, you're going to have to take risk. You know, risk taking, who loves taking a risk? Risk means that you may fail. But failure teaches sometimes, many times, failure teaches you how to begin again more intelligently. You know, uh, uh, Thomas Watson of IBM thing, he said, double your failure rate. Maybe we're failing too infrequently. You know, how, you know, if you're talking about a, a basketball player, and uh, uh, a basketball player in the NBA, if he shoots over 40% from the three point range, he's paid millions of dollars. That means that he misses six times out of 10, but he hits four. Look, folks, if you really want to be successful, you're going to have to go out on a limb and take a chance. We, we, we too much, we, we're sitting on the dock of the bay. God bless everyone. On. Uh, we're sitting on the dock of the bay, and we're not moving into that which God has called us into. People with lesser ability than you have already reached the winner's circle in life. People with lesser ability than you have already uh, become successes beyond their wildest dreams. But they took a chance. They, they took a risk. If you really want to be successful in life, you're going to have to, and you want to be extricated from average, extricated from complacency, extricated from mediocrity, you're going to have to take risk. You're going to have to take a chance. You're going to have to... Uh, put something out, you, you, you're going to have to venture. Nothing ventured is nothing gained. Be not deceived, the scripture said. God is not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. You're going to have to put something out there. Cast your bread unto the waters, and in many days it shall return. You know, you're not taking a risk. A, a risk may damage your nettle. Risk may hurt your pride. Uh, risk may tear up your safe thing. But if you ever want to make it to the next level in life, you're going to have to take a risk. You're going to have to step out. You know, many times, you know, God healed some in the Holy Writ as they went. They kept on walking as they were walking. They were walking away. They weren't exactly healed at that spot, but they got healed as they went. You, you're going to have to walk by faith and not by sight. You're going to have to walk sometime. You're going to have to act sometime. You're going to have to do sometime. You're going to have to reach sometime. You're going to have to grab sometime when there's no certainty involved. You're going to have to take a risk. Your, you, you know, faith without works is dead being alone, the scriptures declare. Look, folks, you know, everybody, everybody wants to talk faith, but you want to talk faith, but you don't want to take a risk. You know, uh, you, know you, you, you won't ever walk on water until you learn how to get out of the boat. Everybody wants to walk on water, but no one wants to get out of the boat. 
you're going to have to take some risk. You're going to have to step out of your comfort zone. You're going to have to reach up out of mediocrity. You're going to have to defy some norms. You're going to have to overcome some trends. You're going to have to buck some statistics. Look, folks, you're going to have to sometimes uh, uh, overcome some prophecies, negative prophecies that have been spoken over your life. Many times in life we have not because we ask not. You know, they just might say yes. I, I went to Memphis State with a guy um, because you don't know the outcome. That's when your faith kicks in. That is so true. But I went to Memphis State with a guy. This guy back in the 80s, he had a big fat Jerry Curl. And he had some glasses that to call them trifocals is an understatement. If someone was walking on the moon, this guy's glasses were so thick that he probably could see them on the moon. And, and he's a big lumbering guy. And, and yet, we would walk and see him always with the nicest looking women on campus. So me and a group of guys, we cornered him one day. Man, what are you doing? What are you saying? He says, man, I talk to seven women a day. Six of them say no. One says yes. That's five a week and 20 a month. Folks, they just might say yes. We have not many times because we ask not. Many times we haven't asked more of life. You, you know, we, 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 there's a story I was reading a survey about uh, how Hundreds of people can apply for jobs that pay a certain rate, and lines will be around the corner. Yet there are jobs that pay well up into the six figures when they're put out. Very few apply because many people count themselves out even before they apply. Why not apply? They just might say yes. Stop, you know, every now and then you got to buck. Everything that you know in your intelligentsia. You got to reach out to faith and choose to believe God. They just might say yes on that application. They may just say yes on your admission to the exclusive school. You never know what quota they have to fill. You never know what, what person in a certain demographic they need. You got to go for it. You got to take a risk. Stop being one of the people in life that say on your march, get ready, get set, 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 and you never press the go button. You've been getting set for the last five years, and you're still at the starter's block. You have the gun is gone off and everybody else is racing towards their goal and you're still stuck at where you are. Don't get stuck at that place. Don't get stuck in complacency. Don't get stuck in the quicksand of mediocrity. It's time for you to take some risks. God has called you into more. Run after it. The just shall live by faith. Look, folks. It's time out for you sitting in the same place, sitting on the premises when God has called you to stand on the promises. Believe God and learn to take a risk. It's where success and deliverance from average and mediocrity will be. God bless you. Take a risk, my brother. Take a risk, my sister. God bless you.